there is one thing I am known for on this channel, it is calling out the celebrities. Hello everyone, I am Mecha Random 42 the one, the only, the original, your favorite YouTube consumer advocate, Harpy. How does this fall under the consumer advocacy when it comes to the entertainment industry, you might ask? Well, th this article popped up, you guys sent this to me, and I wasn't really going to talk about it until I saw and scrolled down and saw who was involved, and you know who's involved? Somebody we need the theme music for, oh yes. bumped my microphone again. I always do that. That's because it's right here in my face. The Time's Up charity set up by the celebrities. Oh, we love our celebrities here, don't we? As part of the hashtag them too movement, spent 1.4 million, ma 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 million. Ma 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 my Sharona levels of millions there. I don't know where I just went into song. I think I'm a little funny in the head. It might be staying home all the time and also, if you guys do like my content, please like, subscribe, share. I'm not going to be snotty at you like that other actress. That other actress. Oh, that other one. We know who we're talking about here. I'm not going to be mean and say, keep your comments to yourself like a brat. Is that a survival skill or is that just being a brat? I'm not sure. I'm going to ask you guys nicely. I have Twitter, Parlor, Twitch. I have Patreon. I have an, oh, I have my live channel. I did a smoothie video over there in a pizza making thing. I think I'm using that for cooking and archives of that. If you guys want to check that out, I need to talk about this, this charity, this charity. Okay. First off, I have skimmed through the article and I do have to tell you guys, this is a very, very legal way to grift money, to grift money and put it in your own pocket, right? This is a very legal and legit way to Line your own pockets for your own personal gain or the gain of your friends, right? Is it fair? Probably not. Probably not. Would I do the same thing in that, this situation? Absolutely. Absolutely. If I had the ability and the power and the influence to set up some organization where I could funnel myself a giant big fat paycheck to, uh, in the name of, to, to donate just a pittance, just a pittance to, to the impoverished, needy little masses out there just so they could feast off of the scraps, I suppose, then yes, I would probably be in the exact same position. No, I wouldn't. I'm not that horrible. I'm not that horrible. I'd give myself a big fat paycheck, but I would make sure that the people who you're trying to help also really, really receive everything they need, everything they need. And I guess, I guess. This is where we got to come in and talk about this. So the Time's Up charity set up by celebrities as part of the hashtag them too. They spent $157,000 on conferences at luxury res resorts for their little buddies to go and talk about and pat themselves on the back and talk about all these women's issues. You know all the clips that I show you guys of Brie? This kind of hope is an elixir to stagnation. Fuck hope. Fuck hope. And Natalie? Those who abuse power are not going to have a change of behavior out of the goodness of their hearts. To, to be fair, those are from Variety, but that's all the same type of stuff. They just get in these rooms together. They throw these fancy luncheons and dinners and, and luxury conferences at these resorts. So, and they get themselves on stage and they go around trashing the patriarchy, telling you why you're bad and what's wrong with you. And they eat luxurious food, they stay in these nice hotels and they have a nice little vacation on, on the money that people send them, on the money that people send them thinking that they're helping these causes. And yeah, they do help the causes. A little bit of it does. A little bit of it does. Tax filings reveal the Time's Up organization has raised $3,670,219 in 2018 in his first year of operation, but spent $1,407,000 on salaries 
and only 312 on helping people, on helping the very people they set up this whole charity for. That is a pittance. That is crumbs. That is scraps. That is scraps. Almost 1 million was spent on legal costs and advertising and advertising. And, and yes, yes, I get it. You gotta like let people know about your charities and I'm sure you need all of these these illegal loopholes to make sure that you're perfectly within your rights to do this, to do exactly this, to do exactly what they're doing here. So I get why they would spend a lot of money on their lawyers. I get it. Does it make it right though? Does it really, really make this seem like it's, it's exactly the most legit way for them to go about helping people? I don't know. A separate legal defense fund claims to have helped 3,000 women during the first six months of 2018 at a cost of 1.7 million using money coming from donations. But most of the fund money came from grants made to the Women's Law Center, while just 132,000 came, came from the Times Up Foundation. <sighs> and this is this this is the type of stuff that's perfectly fine and legit and legal and there's nothing even there's nothing that you could even shame them for. They'd be like, "Yeah, so we're doing this." And and they wouldn't even get they wouldn't even get how how that might be flaunting the wealth in the faces of the people you're trying to help. Because this really seems like such a selfish cause though. This really, really feels like an excuse for a bunch of celebrities to get on a plane and talk about how bad men are, right? Men, men am bad, men are bad. And guess what? Did you know that men are bad? I do not need a 40 year old white dude. <sighs> I feel like the girl in the meme who, who like smiles really evilly. I really, really do with this. So yeah, they're, they're, it's set up to fight, you know, the hashtag them to crap and all this stuff. And you know what? Heart's in the right place. Sometimes your head's up your own patooties though, because sometimes women use this to their advantage. Take it from me. I am a whammon. Sometimes these women use this stuff to their advantage just to further themselves, just to further themselves. And here's your breakdown of all of this. The organization brought in Hollywood heavyweights during the early days of its operation with Reese Witherspoon, Amy Schumer, and, and Captain People herself, Brie. I just see people. Larson. Oh, yes. She's in this one, too. She's in this one, too. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Thank you very much. Wow. <laughs> detail the mission of Time's Up Now as being to promote safe, fair, and dignified work for women of all kinds. Oh, really, Brie? Oh, really, Brie? Because you and I have to have a little chat if that is your goal. If that is your goal. If. We want to make sure that women are free from harassment and other forms of discrimination on the job. Oh, really? 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 Then guess what, Brie? You might want to call off call off and i don't know if you're responsible for these i cannot predict if you are or not i don't know who's actually responsible for these and i hope for your sake that you are not actually responsible because on a daily basis because i dare mention any of her films your films brie because i dare mention any film that this actress stars in because i dare mention her because we dare meme some of the cringeworthy things that this actress says because we don't particularly care about her attitude when it comes to males in particular. I do not need a 40 year old white. Uh uh, no, not today, Brie. Not today. Because of this, I get on a daily basis, daily, 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 daily basis, spam after spam after spam after spam after spam. This is just Thursday. This is just from Thursday. This is only, only from thanks Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Day, Thanksgiving Day. Every single time this actress makes news, I get bot marketing accounts flooding my Twitter feed, probably the comment section of this video. So if you do, do see that, definitely hit the little report button when you see the comments like that. Usually they'll talk about Gal Gadot for some reason and they'll have a greater than symbol is a greater than or less than whichever one because it's clearly a coded thing i am not interested in having them spam my channel or my twitter feed or any of that stuff so hopefully for your sake 
they're not coming from you. I don't know if they are. I can't prove one way or another because I don't have millions and millions and millions in the bank to, I don't know, flaunt. I'm not jetting off to these private conferences and I'm just somebody trying to do my best to give you guys reasonable education on the entertainment industry, what the cringe stuff the celebrities are up to, reviews on crazy stuff, and sometimes I do video games. And we're not even safe when they come in with the video game stuff. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even going to show you half of the stuff that they spam me with on this. Back to the article. The tax filings deal with the mission of the Time's Up, and we already talked about that. To have equal opportunity for economic security that can achieve the highest positions of power wherever they work. Well, I try and do YouTube. And what happens when I get constantly, constantly slammed with those accounts? That doesn't exactly help me now, does it? Does it? But according to the Post, huge amounts were spent on executive salaries instead of legal support. Mm-hmm. Lisa Borders was recruited to head the Times Up and only spent four months as the organization at the organization after her 36-year-old son was accused. <laughs> oh, oh, lovely. And they're picking winners, aren't they, to head up these things. Nevertheless, the CEO managed to pull in 342000 308 for her salary. Uh-huh. Um, can, can you sign me up for one of those? Because guess what? Me too. Me too. I am tired of this crap on a daily basis. And I am so sick and tired of these celebrities, these high earning, high money, hoity toity, foo foo, lottie freaking da people looking down on everybody else. Because that's what it really, really feels like. It feels like they don't actually care about whatever charities that they're involved with. Because if they did, you think I'd be so angry right about now? No, no. All I did was say that Captain Marvel looked kind of boring and uninteresting. And we laughed at some memes. And on a daily basis, I'm getting crap. So aside from executive compensation, tax filings show that the Time's Up Now, which is the lobbying arm of the organization, was noted to have spent $157,155 on conferences designed to build community and spark critical conversations about gender e equity, according to the Post. What about me? What about me? What about me? Just because I'm not out there speaking the same little, little cult speak of the alt-left wackadoo hate mobs, Maybe, maybe they just don't give a crap. Maybe they're hypocritical. Maybe they don't practice what they preach. Did you ever think of that? Because I guarantee if I went to any of these actresses, not a thing would happen, especially if I went to the one who's got those marketing accounts on my butt constantly, constantly. And they might just be crazy people keep making accounts. We don't know. We don't know. But the code in the, in the thing and the amount of them Seriously, somebody's not buying a new burner phone every five minutes when I when I keep blocking them on Twitter. That's not happening. Probably. They're probably these marketing accounts that come in, just spam you for a day, and then they go away. You should see my block list. It's like a mile long over there. And it gets really, really old, and I'm tired of it. And I know this isn't designed to help somebody like me. And I know this isn't designed to help somebody like me. Like I said, I'm just too wrong thing. Or need to be just only focused on the color of their skin, their gender, their, their ethnicity, whatever. I think people are more than just a superficial label. And of course, Hollywood and the outlift wackadoo hate mob does not like that. If you are guilty of wrong speak, you won't get help anyway. And that's, and that's the thing here. And I get it that this isn't designed for somebody like me anyway. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It later changed from let's clean up Hollywood to we're going to help all workers. Oh, that was their mission statement. Despite having been in existence for six months, those at the conference struggled to decide what the organization's mission statement should be. Because there are a bunch of women running the damn thing. That's why you get a bunch of women there and they're just, they're snipping at each other. It's time for the Sharon of the Week. That's all that's going to happen. Seriously. Take it from me. I am one. That's what's going to happen, especially when they are part of this mindset, because, well, you can't, you can't just have one woman be in charge of something. No, 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 no. Aside from the pricey conferences at country retreats, the organization details in its tax filings how it spent 288000 on advertising. And 940 on legal costs. A huge chunk of that went to 700,000 went to Arnold and Porter K. Schooler, a law firm that frequently lobbies on Capitol Hill. Uh huh. Mm hmm. 
safe, fair, and dignified work for women of all kinds. Fine, give me some money and promote my channel then. How about that if you actually care? Oh no, that's not what this is about, is it? Time's up. And, and yeah, I'm focused on me because I can't really speak for any of these other things. I can just give you my own personal experience and my own personal thoughts. And I get tired of this crap. And I get it, I get it, it's not about me. But at the same time, I get tired of this crap. I get tired of it constantly. And I get tired of the hypocritical attitudes that are only used and designed so these rich Hollywood celebrity types can just stay rich and jet off to their little, to their little high class, high end resort so they can go and put on a speech where they tell you why you're bad. Or at least they tell a bunch of other women why you're bad. And I get tired of this stuff. I am Mecha Random 42 and I'll see you guys on the next video, live stream, or wherever. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye. To give attention to what is near you is to become an expert on your environment. And who doesn't want to be an expert on something?